two. I have a how-to video on right now, um, showing you how to cradle with a lacrosse stick. Obviously, if you don't see that, I'm blind, and I'm not trying to be offensive against blind people. If you're blind and you know how to get on YouTube, then you're pretty smart. So let's just leave it with that. But I'm gonna show you how to cradle, power cradle, cradle across, cradle in back if you if you prefer that. Cradle over your head, spin it and cradle. Let's just start with the normal cradle. All right, what we're gonna do is take your right hand or your left hand. I can do it with both. Um, I'm just I'm righty right, righty right now. Let's see if I just started being ready, but I'm ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just on my fingers. You don't want to grab it like that and go like that, it's just not, it's not how you want to do it, it's not how it was intended to be done, um, you're gonna take your fingers, just tip your fingers, and just make a fist, pretty much, like, like you're grabbing something, oh god, <laughs> uh, but that's really a regular cradle, a power cradle is the same thing, but you're moving it up, so, it's it, it's a lot better when you're running. So you're running down the power cradle. I just almost slipped there because the ground's wet and Jordan suck. But that's how you're gonna want to do it. Power cradle right there. That's usually when it's really good. And then when you get into the crease, you're gonna want a power cradle like right next to the net. That was a, uh, when you're right next to the net. You don't want a power cradle because most likely there's going to be defensemen smashing their sticks onto you. It helps the ball to stay in there. Even if you have a pinch stick, it's better to have a power cradle. And cradling behind your head, I mean, that's kind of stupid. I don't get why anybody would do that. It's just kind of good um, for hand eye coordination. Not really hand eye coordination, but just practicing cradling. It makes this one so much easier if you do it right back behind your head it's the same thing but it's just behind your head and it's a lot harder so oh also over your head again just to practice your cradling not something you would do in the game spin cradle eat. all right so if you have creases on the shaft of your stick, you're gonna want to hold, hold it like this. All right, so hold it like that. Thumb in the crease, fingers. These two fingers are in the crease. One over to it, so there's gonna be a flat one, and then another crease, and then your pinky in the bottom right crease. What you want to do is just spin it, so it goes like that. Dunk it. Cradle it. So, alright, spin it, don't get cradle it. Spin it, don't get cradle it, spin it, don't get cradle it. That's pretty, it's really easy. Style points, pretty much. That's what you want to do in the game. You can do it. I mean, your coach will probably yell at you if he's anything like my coach. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, I'm going to let you look at my sexy dog. I missed. There he is. Hey, Ziggy! Okay, slow motion zoom right into that sexy freaking face. Focus. Oh, look at him. Look at him running. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later.